is Phil Beck and the Rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So this is a, a surprisingly interesting article. I thought it would be bollocks. It came from the Mary Sue, maybe, or we've got this covered. A, 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 an outlet, which is normally a... Uh, uh, Spewing absolute bollocks, but uh, uh, they had a good point that the Mandalorians are in fact space Jews. There's a lot of uh, uh, links between Mandalor the Mandalorians and and Jewish history and <laughs> Jewish law. So uh, uh, yeah, I actually kind of felt that kind of way when uh, uh, what was it episode two or three or what? I can't remember what episode it was when Mando flies in and during the middle of a uh, uh, Mandalorian bar mitzvah, you know, they're giving the kid the helmet, right, right, and then a giant uh, uh, sea alligator thing like messes them all up. Like, why do they live there? Really, why do they live there? And also, I have to tell you, I mean, also kind of like Jews. I mean, wearing the helmet your entire life, never taking off, that seems very impractical to me, right? That seems very impractical. But whatever, whatever, you know, uh, uh, yeah, whatever uh, uh, floats your boat, baby. But so, yeah, we're going to be reading this article. Then it's followed up with a Mark Hamill article where he, and it is inadvertently, but it's so funny because they all just follow their, their whatever their social media programs are do. So he, he was supporting the Ukrainian uh, uh, <laughs> without realising they were all uh, those naughty national socialists from Germany in the 1930s with literal flags hanging up which he didn't recognise I mean bless him but what can you do so that's quite funny uh, I can ask you to like share and subscribe that'll be fan dabby double dozy if you can do that uh, especially over on Rumble Rumble is my place that I really want to build up you can he head over there and hit the subscribe button that is fantastic links in the video notes thank you for unless you're on Rumble right now then click the subscribe button and that would be very, very good. Thank you very much. Like, share, subscribe. Fine. Before we get into the video, though, I, I want, I'm not, I don't think I talk about it in this video. Maybe I do, but I want to put forth my, uh, 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 my take on what I think is going on in the Star Wars universe right now because we've had a lot of very strange things go down, right? We've had a lot of very, very, very strange, uh, um, how would I describe it? Yeah, we had a lot of very strange stuff go down uh, 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 over the last... We had all these, like, terrible movies announced at uh, at Celebration. I mean, really, uh, calling that Celebration might have been a bad idea. Might That might have been a bit of a no-go. It's kind of like on the uh, gates of Auschwitz they had in German. It said, Ar Bach mach free. Work will set you free. No, I mean, that's free, free through death, I think, is, is, is what they meant. But uh, uh, bless them. <laughs> what can you tell? But anyway, so we had all that going on. Uh, uh, and Mando, the, uh, people I hate it this season. I'm still enjoying it, right? I'm still enjoying Mando because it's still enjoyable. I think it's still good. Yes, they have totally switched the focus from a boy Mandalorian to a girl Mandalorian. I still found the quality good, but I do get it. That is 100% part of the Disney agenda, right? Making everything female. I just, okay, whatever. Uh, uh, but for me, I, I, I get this work. Uh, you know, I get it and it works. But uh, uh, Doomcock, bless Doomcock. Uh, uh, I love Doomcock's videos, right? Uh, uh, how accurate are they? Sometimes they're on the money. So he he has people on the inside, he says, and he has a theory that uh, uh, John Favreau is sending coded messages through the Mandalorian that Star Wars is dead, right? That uh, uh, basically having the uh, uh, the Praetorian Guard from The Last Jedi show up at the end of Episode 7 of Mandalorian and kill off uh, whatever the name of the map, that man, the cool Mandalorian, right? That cool Mandalorian was always John Favreau's Mandalorian, right? That he's the one he would he would do 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 the voice for him. Uh, and that was kind of his avatar in it. So having like, you know, the sequel trilogy kill off his, kill, kill off his, his avatar is killing off any hope for his vision of the future. Here's what I think is going, and I think that might actually be the case. I think the, uh, this change in direction of making Bo-Katan the, the, the set, the focus. And I would not be surprised. The, I'm, I'm going to be watching the, uh, season finale shortly, but I wouldn't be surprised if, uh, uh, Pedro Pascal doesn't survive, right? And it just all goes to Katie Sackhoff, which for me is fine. I, uh, genuinely, I like that, right? I think that really, really genuinely works. And look, Disney Plus, can you package together like the Rebels episodes and the Clone Wars episodes of Mandalorians and into a just make it easier, right? But anyway, so so his his whole theory is that he's uh actively doing a bad job because he's not allowed to leave. That's why he put like the the uh the essential episodes of Mandalorian in Boba Fett. So it, 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 I think he's trying to kill it off, right? That's what that's what Doomcock's saying. So what I think is going on is, yeah, I think the uh change in direction making the Ma Mandalorian female 
is something that was uh, 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 an edict from on high, which he didn't like, and he had to comply with. But here's what I think is really going on. Uh, uh, I think he's biding his time to see what happens in the internal politics of Disney and uh, Lucasfilm, because apparently all these movies that were announced, it sound, all sound awful. Like, who wants a Ray movie? I mean, we heard it, we all went, what? Why? Just why? Just who wants that? And they're going to be embarrassment, embarrassing failures, and everybody knows they will be embarrassing failures. So the the rumor is this is not from Doomcock. This is from uh, uh, another. Thing. I think I might talk, I've talked about this in, in in this video. If not, I will certainly uh, uh, find you know find that bit and uh, you know incorporate it in. Did I talk about it in this video? I'll find out for you. I don't know. Uh, uh, but the rumor is that uh, um, that. Uh, 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 th that Kathleen Kennedy was supposed to announce her her departure, her retirement at Celebration. Uh, instead, she announced this whole raft of new films that hadn't been greenlit. So now uh, um, Bob Iger is in a difficult situation because he, he, if he cancels these movies and says, what, what, what are you doing? This is crazy. Their stock price is going to fall. And that, that's got real ramifications. You can't really do stuff like that. So his hands are somewhat tied. So, uh, uh, so I think what's going on is this, that John Favreau is biding his time uh, uh, over the next few years with Mandalorian to see who wins out in this uh, ultimate battle. Because if, if I think if Bob Iger wins out, which I I don't know, like it seems logical he would do, uh, that would be the end of like the you know, the female Mandal the, the female driven everything in in Disney because. It's not working, right? It is, although, you know, somebody, who would have heard it on Tim Poor thing? Somebody said, we seem to be living in a post-profit environment. Like, people don't care if they make money or not, which is weird. But I think he's, he's waiting to see what's happening. Uh, yeah, so the Praetorian Guard definitely show up, right? And they kill, you know, kill off the character. My feeling is this, though. I, I, I don't view the sequel trilogies as canon, as real, or whatever. I think they could still veer off into a much more satisfying direction at any time, right? Any time until they can't. And I don't think we're up to the point where they can't yet. But that's what I think is going on uh, uh, with John Farrow. Anyway, as I said, like, share, subscribe, Star Wars in general. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Please subscribe to me on Rumble. That'd be really, really helpful. Go look at the video notes. I'm also on Twitter, uh, YouTube, obviously. Uh, uh, Facebook, I put a bunch of videos on. You can find me everywhere, baby. Oh, the rabbi's all encompassing, they say. He's all encompassing. Uh, uh, could be, could be. I don't know. Uh, are you, the viewing public, decide? Fine. Uh, this comes from a live stream I did last night. I do live streams every night. Please join me on a live stream. We have a laugh, and that is the point. So fine, let me head over to me from last night. As we reflect on Passover, let's recognize the Mandalorian is our space use. Um, we uh, will rebuild it. Isn't that our history? We we, we have rebuilt it. We, re we rebuilt basically everything. Uh, uh, we're just waiting for one more building, right? Parcel end, ended sundown on Thursday, April 13th. And I'll be honest, it is so nice to eating leavened bread again. I was, I was fine, right? I, was, I mean, I farted a lot, but I was basically fine. Uh, but speaking of which, uh, uh, just, just, just to prove I am Jewish, my mother, uh, my mother. Oh, oh, that sounds awful. My my wife, think my brother, brought home a bagel uh, 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 today. So I'm, I'm quite excited about that. Uh, uh, I have I I have bagel and a, a bagel and a salad waiting for dinner. Oh my mother, help me! Uh, uh, where are we up to? Uh, drink. Fine. So, uh, uh, but as I was eating uh, buttered matzo for breakfast on Wednesday while watching this week's Mandalorian, this line from uh, Dinta Bokadan uh, destroyed Mandalor uh, about a destroyed Mandalor st uh, stuck. Stuck out to me. Well, we rebuild it. Isn't that history? For thousands of years, we have been on the verge of extinction. For thousands of years, we have survived. Yeah, sounds very chewy. Right? Okay. I, 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 I. Make a good argument, darling. You're making a good argument. I can't, I'm, I can't counter you at this point. Uh, having come to yet uh, into another Passover where the Jews promised to see each other next year, Shana Babri Slime, after retelling a story of deliverance from slavery, uh, this line hit different. Right, I'm not. I'm, uh, and I'm certainly not the only one uh, who sees Jewishness in the Mandalorians. I mean, I did see the the uh, uh, like bar mitzvah, you know, uh, uh, allegory. What's this one? Is this part of the story or not? Jewish cultural significance. Uh, uh, what, what is this? Okay, this is a TikTok. 
Is this the person? Okay. Uh, what's that? She's making a good point, this woman. Okay. Fine. So the living waters in uh, Mandro must be submerged in order to be redeemed. Similar to the Jewish mikvah, uh, in which Jews submerge themselves for various reasons, including purification and to mark life events. That's true. That's true. Uh, the man, uh, Mandalorian convert, she likens their community to a shtetl or a sweet. Yeah. Mandalorians are space shoes. Fuck you, baby. Yes, they are. Oh. Uh... Uh, the Mandalorian helmet ceremony, the coming of age ritual of 12 to 13 year olds, uh, similar to Jewish children becoming bar mitzvah, uh, b'nai, uh, b'nai mitzvah. This is a general new show, bar mitzvah, or bat mitzvah. Yeah, okay, b'nai mitzvah, that's actually fine. The mythosaur, similar to Leviathan, the Jewish word is uh, Leviathan, uh, uh, which root means twist, turn, wi uh, wind, or coil. Uh, Leviathan is a primeval sea monster mentioned in uh, Psalm 74 14. And other places that God killed for the Jews to eat when they were wandering uh, in the wilderness in the Exodus. Well, there you go. That's uh, thank you for the meal, mate. Uh, destruction of the fall, similar to the destruction of the Second Temple, which was destroyed by Romans after having stood for five hundred years. Now, parts of the Kotel, okay, the Western World, are all that remain. Uh, Mandalorian helmets, similar to the Kippot, uh, yeah, uh, uh, which are worn by Orthodox Jews all the time. <laughs> That's true. Uh, um, but only for certain occasions for less traditional Jews. Yeah, that's pretty much true. But okay, I'm I'm, I'm actually in, into this. Uh, Pop Culture Rabbi also posted this video uh, TikTok about the Jewish law and the way. This is the way. Maybe that's why I like it so much. Mm. The Jewish word for law is halakha, which literally means the way. <laughs> oh, Fuck me. Mandalorian is space Jews. Okay. Uh, uh, my eyes have been open, right? Uh, um, as Pop Culture points, Rabbi points out, the different different Jews have different relationships to Alaka. Orthodox Jews, much like the tribe of Mandalor uh, Mandalorian, I mean, the tribe, uh, uh, the tribe crying. Was it? It's called the tribe for crying out loud. Okay. Uh, follow the way strictly. While conservative reform and uh, reconstructionist Jews have their own unique relationship, they take their helmets off. Uh, shake it. Uh, um, Jewishness, it's in Mandalore, right? Uh, and then there was a crystal Dinjar uh, bought to Boca Town to prove that he'd been to Mandalore's surface. Trapped in, uh, in the crystal is a fragment of stone with Mando words carved onto it. Of course, the internet is going to be internet, so there's only a matter of time if somebody decodes it. Self-contained sci-fi link with <laughs> General Anibus uh, took to Reddit to reveal the Mando's text on Stone is actually a biblical verse from Exodus. Uh, he even provided an image to show Mando's uh, transliteration, how the tiny fragment of stone, uh, the translation from King James Bible. Uh, uh, got, but since I'm a Jew, uh, talking about Jewishness, the Mandalorians, uh, uh, I'll provide two translations, Exodus chapter 10, 5 and 6, okay, from the Jewish uh, sources, uh, contrast and compare. Fine, so the uh, they shall cover the face of the land so no one will be able to see the land. They shall devour the uh, surviving remnants and uh, uh, that was left by the hell, and you should eat uh, away at your trees that uh, grow in the field. Moreover, they shall fill your places and your houses and your uh, countries uh, it was must be talking about the plague of, of frogs, I think. Something that uh, neither your father nor your father have seen t uh, from the day they appeared on the earth. Um, uh, with that, he turned and left Pharaoh's presence. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna read the other one. Uh, um, okay, whatever. Well, it's the same thing. Okay, I could, I could probably write a whole chapter or another post about this particular verse. Which was urchin in Mandalore. But uh, what was the prophecy? The locust uh, uh, symbolic empire destruction. That was a prophecy. This uh, this is the first prophesizing the leader of Bo delivering uh, a similar threat to Moff Gideon. 
uh, uh, of the swarming new uh, Mandalorian people. Is bo basically Moses? Wow. Uh, th look, this, they certainly brings, uh, gets inspiration on somewhere, right? Uh, um, I wonder, I thought I liked this. Okay. And can we just talk about bo father's name, Duke At uh, uh, Adonai? Okay, I can't even say that. That's the Jewish word for uh, uh, God. Wow. Also the name Bo-Katan uh, means uh, come here, little one, in uh, uh, either go or come, little one. Uh, um, go small, come uh, Fine. Uh, um, uh, this is interesting because she's the younger sister of uh, uh, Satin and Kreese, who ruled Mandalore during the Clone Wars and whose death uh, Bo-Katan became regent of, uh, for Mandalore for a minute before losing her position. Satine is a French name that means smooth or shiny. Yeah, she was the one who was with, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, I think. Yes. Will bo -Katan come small? Is that a Disney? Did she, uh, did her father, uh, I can't say the name, add a, uh, um, the name of Ghost Maul because she was uh, uh, she was ever supposed to be, or is she named that by the uh, ironically by Clone Wars writers because uh, she was destined for greater things? I, I don't think they thought that far ahead. Do you? Is she meant to be uh, David and Goliath? Uh, this shit. Okay, how much longer is this? Man? Okay, Teresa, you do this is you've done scholarly work, darling. Okay, I'm quite impressed with this. Uh, clearly, the connection between the Mandalorian culture and Judaism goes further back than uh, the Mandalorian. Uh, oh, I uh, oh, I'm just because I can't help myself. The word "din," yeah, is judgment. Uh, you are okay, okay, fine. I'm sold. You have totally won me. A, a Mary Sue article was sensical. Is this on purpose? Right? It feels like a lot of it uh, to be mere coincidence in a piece called. The, the Mandalorian, the Jewish standard. Larry Usman writes in uh, the connections here as well. Uh, he goes to talk about the Mandalorian's creator, John Farrow's mother it was Jewish, uh, as far as Catholic. That means he's Jewish, by the way, right? According to to, to Jewish law, right? If your mother's Jewish, you you are Jewish. Uh, uh, it, it's good to your great grandmother, I believe. Uh, but in 2009, the Star Wars universe got decidedly more Jewy with the launch of Disney's The Mandalorian. It was billed as a space western, but the true hint of what uh, was to come uh, were, were buried in the credits. Uh, it was produced by Gollum Productions. Gollum is a, uh, a Jewish uh, uh, monster, essentially. Uh, a company founded by the show's producer, head writer John Favreau. Favreau may have indeed dropped out of Hebrew school to pursue acting as Boba. Oh, so he got all this from that. But he he uh, but he observes far more uh, than external formal Jewish uh, schooling uh, with his signs of Jewish code. Okay, Johnny Boy, oh, doing well. So look, this ties me into what I was saying earlier, right? With the uh, uh, Mandalorian and and Star Wars in general. I think Favreau is biding his time, right? I think until it connects to the sequel trilogy, it doesn't connect to the sequel trilogy. I don't, I, I don't, Doomcox rumor that Favreau is, is trapped there and sending secret messages via the Mandalorian um, doesn't make sense to me because he feels like he has agency enough he could just leave the production without it being a problem, right? He's like, I, I've done my vision and hand over, right? Um, yeah, I feel he could, to, to, so him still being there means I think he has hope, but I think maybe Doomcock was right in that the the he was simple his, his original vision was symbolically killed by the Praetorian Guard. Uh, um I could totally see that, right? I could totally yeah, I could totally see that, right? So I think there's hope. I I, I think we're living in a time where 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 we where there's what to be hopeful about, right? I do. I think that's exactly what I was going on. Let's have a look at let's go and look at bounding comics if there's any new headlines. Oh, uh, caramba. Bounding into comics. What is it? It's, it's mad. It's mad of, uh, finale day tomorrow. Fine. Um, competitive online multiplayer sports game. Uh, Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. And that, okay. Uh, former Disney staff, uh, Hudgens, promotes satanic witchcraft uh, with her upcoming tubby reality film, 
dead hot. Well, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, um, okay, Arnold's listened to half heart of the body. You got the bear, mate. Screw your freedom. How about that? No, I should have communicated better. Chris Evans explains why he doesn't want to return to Captain America role. I will be worried about uh, tarnishing it. I, I actually, you know what? I, that might be bullshit, but his run on Captain America was was friggin' excellent, right? Mark Hamill chats up Ukrainian Nazis in video game, gets roasted by fans. Uh, um, okay, uh, but I'd also Pedro Pascal might might die in the finale. I think that's going to happen. I think Pedro Pascal is uh, uh, is is going to die in the finale. Yeah, because I think it's, they set up Bo-Katan as a, as a lead, right? They totally set up Bo-Katan as a lead. Let's have a look at these two stories. That at least this one. <laughs> what does he do? Mark Hamill, just stop and do do acting. Don't do this stuff. Uh, fine. Pleasure meeting with brave young Ukrainian operators. We talked about challenges they face on a daily basis, but also we talked about walkies and farm boys and droids. Show your support. Okay, so what happened? Um, you're supporting fascists and trying to make it cute with the Star Wars references. Fuck it out. Yeah, that's not good news, is it? Holy crap. Holy crap. Ah. Oh, has he issued an apology yet? Oh, my God. There's actually on screen with him. Crap. Oh, he's... Oh, Mark, mate. How long before he gets a uh, groveling apology? Hey, Mark, I'm a big fan of yours. It's really terrifying to see you're not acknowledging the very obvious flag in the video. I understand if you didn't recognize it, lots of people might not have. But it's pointed out uh, to you that uh, that a lot, uh, uh, but it's been pointed out to you. Uh, uh, it's been pointed out to you a lot, and your silence is really painful. I have no idea what the flag signifies. My support is for the simple UK uh, over the Russian invasion. Period. You're fucked, Mark. My name's Sheila Beck, and you rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!